Well, these are the silent blocks specifically designed for the replacement in a Yanmar 2 GMFC engine, which has a dual cooling circuit system. These silent blocks are essential supports for the engine, ensuring stability and significantly reducing vibrations during operation. We will start by carefully unscrewing and loosening the two nuts that support the engine, and then this one up here, ensuring that everything is secure. Next, we will remove the two nuts from the L bracket that supports the engine, take it out, put in the new one, and proceed to the other side, and then finally here at the back, where the other support is located, removing or loosening this nut, taking out the support, and then loosening the nut that is threaded onto the support. To proceed with the task of removing the nuts that support the engine's weight, the first and foremost step is to take out the water pump. This is a crucial step because the water pump needs to be removed to allow for easier access and maneuverability while working on the engine. Additionally, I will take this opportunity to thoroughly inspect the impeller, which is an important component of the water pump, before loosening any screws. It is highly advisable to place some sturdy doors to support the engine's weight during this process. Furthermore, I have this handy device, which is essentially a small cushion that can be inflated with air. This cushion fits perfectly into the available space. This way, we fit the engine to the boat as best as possible, ensuring a snug and secure fit. And with the blocks and wood, we carefully distribute the weight as evenly as possible to avoid any major issues that could arise from an uneven distribution of weight to ensure the boat remains stable and balanced. With the 17, you need to carefully loosen and remove this nut and this one here before finally releasing the angle. And don't forget about this one, which is a 24. Make sure to double check all connections before proceeding. After loosening all the screws a bit, we remove the support to adjust the new support with the previous one to ensure it has the same height. I extremely carefully measured it with a caliper and adjusted it with a high degree of precision to the same height. It's not very noticeable, but oh well. Once the two screws were installed here in this position, everything went absolutely smoothly and it's all perfectly set up and completely ready. How cool. Well, we have the other silent block disassembled here and it has already been carefully measured with the caliper for the exact heights and dimensions. The sheets are perfectly aligned and checked for accuracy. So now I can proceed to carefully mount it here on the support to ensure stability. Let's go. Well, the other one is changed too and everything is tightened up, so now we just wait to start. Here are the tools I used on this model, which include a variety of essential items. You need to remove the water pump carefully and I used a 12 fixed wrench with the ratchet, an extender, which I used to very precisely lift the engine along with some boards and such, as it is a lift like this. The process requires precision and the right tools to ensure everything is done correctly. Then approximately 24, 19 and 17 fixed wrenches of each size in total. I didn't have a 17 socket with a 24 extension, which would have been ideal for the task, so I used a pipe wrench to help remove the more stubborn nuts with a lever, a lever arm almost half a meter long, providing the necessary torque. Additionally, I used a flashlight in the dimly lit area. These tools were essential for the job at 3100 RPM. This was the tool I used for the high speed operation. The job required precision and strength, and these tools were crucial in achieving the desired outcome. Now I am very super happy. Before there were slight vibrations when the engine revved up. 
I just did the 3100 test and the engine runs super smoothly. You can see it in the video very well. Thank you. And thanks to you, Ator.